Good morning, SCA. Pastor Jordy here. Hope you had a great weekend. It's looking nicer out there. I think all the snow is melted. Maybe not in the shade, but spring is here. Kind of excited about that. Hey, just want to let you know a couple things today. Well, actually, there's lots of things, but just to start with a couple of things. Did you know in 1962, on this day in Massachusetts, the Institute of Technology there sends the very first TV signal by satellite? Who cares, right? I thought that was kind of cool. First TV signal by satellite. Wow. 2018 on this day, a little more relevant for right now, streaming music services overtake the worldwide sale of CDs and vinyl for the very first time. And of course, the world has never been the same. CDs, you guys even know what those are? <laughs> how about eight tracks? Anyways, how about cassettes? Okay. Barbara Streisand is 80 today. Happy birthday to her. Do you even know who she is? Kelly Clarkson. She's 40 today. I don't know if she likes that, but it's her birthday. Just thought I'd tell you. Tonight, big deal, April 24th, tonight, there is an art show in the link at six o'clock. It's going to be great. And at seven o'clock is our band concert in the South Gym. Want to let you know about that. Tomorrow, April 25th, all day, the gyms are going to be full. There is an Elk Island, the whole division junior high badminton tournament here. So uh, I think you're supposed to stay away because there's going to be lots of people. So uh, make sure you uh, be encouraging to all of our guests uh, that are coming tomorrow. On April 27th, this Thursday, our high school band is going to be performing at the Yardbird Suite at 7 o'clock, our actual high school jazz band. So looking forward to that. And you know that Newsies is coming. The days are very busy for our musical theater people, so be nice to them. May 2nd to 5th, if you haven't got tickets, you should probably get some tickets. Special announcement for Mr. Corville. Listen up, everybody. Strathcona County Robotics Association, they're called Cyber Eagles. They are coming on Thursday, May 4th and they are bringing their world-class robots with them. If you're interested in robotics or want to try driving one of the robots, uh, come down to the link at lunch on Thursday, May 4th. Any more questions on that, just talk to Mr. Corville. Grads, told you about this once before, diploma exam prep. So you want to boost your confidence in the exams through some tips and practice questions. June 8 to 10 is uh, English and Social diploma exam prep. Uh, June 10, 11 is math and June 17 to 18 is biology, chemistry, physics, and science. If you want to register for that, go to eipscontinuinged.ca, eipscontinuinged.ca. Hey, uh, you might have moved on. I haven't totally moved on from Easter. I think it's a really, well, it is the biggest deal. Jesus kind of rising, kind of rising, Jesus rising from the dead. Uh, that's the, uh, kind of pivotal deal for Christianity. And I just wanted to uh, throw you one more piece of uh, evidence or something to consider about that as you uh, as you live in light of uh, the resurrection, uh, no matter where you are in faith. Uh, that's where we're at today. So uh, the testimony of changed lives. So the resurrection of Jesus Christ is the only plausible explanation for the changed lives of, for example, Peter and Paul. So Peter... He went from a pre-resurrection frightened follower of Christ, openly denying any connection to Jesus to a lowly servant girl. That was in John chapter 18. He went from that to a short 50 days later, boldly proclaiming the resurrected Christ to thousands in the open form in the city streets of Jerusalem. Acts chapter 2, uh, Peter says this, God has raised this Jesus to life and we are all witnesses of the fact. So that's why uh, when I think about that, I it, it does make me consider uh, the words in 2 Timothy, for those of you that would consider yourself a people of faith. I remind you to flan, to, <laughs> I remind you to fan into flames the spiritual gift God gave you. For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. So never be ashamed to tell others about our Lord. With the strength God gives you, be ready to suffer with me for the sake of the good news. You know what? I, I want to say that again. 
I remind you to fan into flames the spiritual gift God gave you. For God has not given us a spirit of fear or of timidity, like timid, but of power and love and self-discipline. So never be ashamed to tell others about our Lord. With the strength that God gives you, be ready to suffer with me for the sake of the good news. So um, God bless you with that thought today from Scripture. Hey, I uh, need to tell you it is spring and we're all excited. I, I just want to mention just in closing today, parking lot safety. Don't roll your eyes. It's kind of a big deal. Uh, I, I don't know if you remember, but... Uh, there's a bunch of little kids that hang out before and after school here. And they're from our elementary school. Uh, our school here is a shuttle uh, bus stop for all those little kids. And so I'm just asking you, hey, when you're uh, in your car with all your buddies and the music's on, um, just make sure you keep your head on. Um, drive slow in our parking lot, okay? Uh, some of our parents are even driving fast and over some pylons. And a couple of our supervisors just about got hit. Like... We need to be careful in our parking lot. You don't want some little kid running out in front of you. So, all right. So there's parking lot safety for you. And finally, tomorrow, April 25th is game five. I think you know that Oilers game five. I know you're not all Oilers fans or hockey fans, but nevertheless, tomorrow is game five. And uh, as Mr. Spronk announced last week, it's Jersey day. Every Oilers playoff game day this year is going to be Jersey Day and Jeans for Teachers. Pretty exciting. I'm thinking of doing a, a big photo, see if we can get that into the yearbook. So if you've got an Oilers jersey on, uh, come to the lunch, to the link on the stairs at lunch right away. Let's get it over with. At 1140, I don't know, 6, 1146. Uh, and we'll take a picture uh, of Oilers game day and all the jerseys uh, on the stairs. And let's see if we can get in, that into the yearbook uh, for next year. Okay? Hey, have a great week, everybody. Be awesome.